Okay, um, as we discussed before, the order will, we will start with the opening from the state, and then move on to the defense, we'll go from the state to the council. And he walked directly across the lobby, and a man, and he, he was heading directly for the Playland area. And a manager called out to him, hey, you can't go in that area because it's closed. He ignored her. He ignored her because he was focused. He was sitting within the closed area of the playland. His target, Lewis Turner. Lewis Turner was sitting at a table in that playland area just inside the door. He was sitting with an acquaintance, Thomas Bennett, eating some food. And as they sat there, Lewis had his back to the man. Lewis never saw the man in that dark hoodie. Never saw him come up to him. Never saw him pull out a 380. Never saw it coming. And that man in the dark hoodie came up behind Lewis and at very, very close range put that 380 to his back and shot him. That man ran out the north door of the McDonald's. Thomas Bennett ran out the south door of McDonald's, the one that's in the Playland area. Ran out the door. Lewis Turner was also able to run out that door because that shot did not kill him. He was still able to run out that door, to flee out that door, to try to get away. And Thomas Bennett ran ahead of him. He ran off across the street, but Lewis Turner was not that lucky. Because as he went out into that, out that door, and into the parking lot area of the plaza, the man in the dark hoodie met him. He'd come around the building, and he met him in that parking lot, because Lewis Turner was still alive. And that man in the hoodie intended for that not to be the case. He intended to finish the job. And he met Lewis Turner in the parking lot. And he pursued him through that parking lot. And he tried to shoot him again with the 380. But when it jammed, he tried to clear it. And he fired again, but it misfired. He went to his backup. An old 22. And Lewis Turner struggled with the man in the dark hoodie. He struggled with him, tried to avoid him, grabbed onto him, and he was shot twice more. One in the lower abdomen and once in the neck. And this was the fatal shot. Those shots rang out and Lewis Turner dropped to the ground. He's mortally wounded. He's bleeding to death on the street. This is Mark and yours, Ms. Monsinger. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Opening statements are not evidence. Ms. Monsinger, as I just said to you, is not evidence. It's an outline of what she expects the evidence to show you. What I'm about to say to you is also not evidence. It's an outline of what I expect the evidence to show to you. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, when we went through the board year process, we're here because there is a dispute of facts. And that dispute is for you folks to resolve. And I can state safely to you that some facts are not in dispute, but some facts are. And along with that, some of the counts in the indictment are not really going to be in dispute. They're not going to be Lewis Turner was armed with this 22. And during his struggle, Terry is trying to get away. He made his point in the McDonald's. He was trying to get away. And in this struggle, his gun fell. And this gun, the 22, fell to the ground. And Lewis Turner grabbed the 380 and he pointed it at Terry. Terry grabbed the 22 and they both shot. The 380 misfired. Turner pointed it at Terry and fired it. And, and you 
you will see the misfired bullet that they found in the gun. And Terry Little returned fire with the 22. He shot two times. He hit him once here, he hit him once in the neck. And he ran. He grabbed the guns and he ran. He didn't know where Tommy Bennett was. He didn't know Lewis Turner was mortally wounded, wasn't, he wasn't still coming. And Terry Little ran. And he did. He threw his sweatshirt and threw the guns. And the police found him within minutes around the block. And I would submit to you that you can't consider that what Terry Little did there in the parking lot was self-defense. 